So if you're doing some kind of martial arts, you probably are thinking about which parts of my body do I use to cause the most damage to my opponent. Or you might just be thinking, I will do this for inner self-peace and for uh, harmonious living and everything, just to feel like I am in control of my body. That's fantastic. Well, either way, you're going to use uh, probably your elbows or your knees or your hips. I have some friends who do uh, Muay Thai kickboxing and uh, they've shown me some devastating ways that people use their elbows and their knees uh, to do some serious damage and when we're talking about force and bones uh, that's really really cool science but really scary harm to bodies so anyways if you had to choose which would you rather be would you rather be a knee or a hip now uh, you should understand if you try to move your knee you could this could be your elbow as well too and if we're talking about your hip we could be talking about your shoulder. Primarily, if you try to move these things around and if you're doing any kind of uh, jiu-jitsu wrestling and you're trying to put force on uh, people's joints in a way that they don't like and makes them say ow and squirm and tap out, well, then you have to understand quite a bit about how the knee and how the hip works. Primarily, you can tell that um, if you just try moving your knee right now, your knee only moves in one plane, okay, one movement. So if you want to add some pain to that then you would try to push somebody's knee out of that one plane sorry this is all sounding so dark here but anyways uh, so we call it a hinge joint the elbow is similar same kind of way and uh, it allows for bending or straightening otherwise called flexion and extension um, the hip on the other hand uh, if you see people doing roundhouse kicks this is all stuff I wanted to do when I was a kid. I'm talking about it like I know what I'm talking about. I just like watching those videos. The hip is like a ball and socket joint and the shoulder is the same as well too. Much greater range of motion you can do. I guess the word roundhouse kick makes it sound like that's the case. So people who do the really extravagant flips and kicks and spinning around tornado hurricane kicks uh, are taking advantage of their ball and socket joints in their hips and in their shoulders and allows movement in all three planes, which is pretty cool. And uh, the names are a little bit tricky for the different types of movement that are here, but just for inclusion's sake, we're going to put it here. We're talking about protraction, retraction, abduction, adduction, and then simple rotation. So which would you rather be in the end?